This is insane. It's painting an entire image just off of the LEDs inside of here. I can't wait to shoot this. We're gonna shoot the entire video at night, so we're gonna come back a little later. I got my friend Ashley here who's gonna model for us. We're gonna create some wild stuff behind her. Yeah, let's put the Magilite to the test. If you're new here, like, comment, subscribe. This YouTube channel is full of stuff like this and I can't wait to share it with you guys. So stick around, stay tuned. This is gonna be a sick video. What is up guys? It's Ben Karpinski back with the Magilite. This thing is insane. I've been doing a couple like test runs with it and I cannot wait to show you guys exactly what this thing does. So if you look right here, I don't know if you could see, but there's like a little screen, right? So there's a menu for color, there's a menu for file select. If I go to file select, I've got a bunch of like photos already imported in here. So like if I do this one, see that? It's painting an image with LEDs. Now, before we go over the Magilite itself, I wanna talk about what long exposure photography actually is. Long exposure photos are so cool and a super interesting way to just get creative, especially if you're just starting out like as a beginner. I've got my camera right here and I'm gonna show you guys the basics of long exposure photography before we dive into the crazy stuff. So with long exposure stuff, you're gonna wanna navigate to your settings and usually your shutter speed would be about one over 400 or something like that where the shutter goes Ksh! That's the sound, right, that you always hear when you're taking a photo. With this, you're gonna set your shutter to be open for about three seconds. And when it's open, all of the light that the camera sees while it's open is gonna be on the photo. So when you're light painting, the shutter is open for a full three seconds, you put a bunch of light in front of the camera, and boom, you have this insane photo with like all these light drags and crazy things like that. Um, I'm gonna show you a super simple example just using my phone and my flashlight. If I turn this thing on and move it in front of the camera lens while my shutter is wide open, you'll see what I'm talking about when I say long exposure. So on the camera, I'm gonna walk up and change a couple of my settings. My shutter speed, most importantly, is gonna be open for a couple of seconds. So I'm gonna set it to about eight seconds with an ISO of 64, which is super low, but we have all of this light coming into the sensor, so that's okay. And my aperture is gonna be somewhat closed because it's kind of blue hour right now and there's a little bit of light outside. So, if I use these settings and move light in front of the camera while the shutter is open for a long time, you should see some crazy results. One super important thing that you'll need is a tripod. The reason that you need a tripod is because the shutter is open and if you handhold it, it's gonna be super blurry and all of the light is gonna be moving around. So you need a tripod for this and you also need to set your camera to be on a timer. So with the timer, um, you're gonna click the shutter and then back away from your camera so that you don't move the camera around at all. Okay, there we go, we just clicked it. Camera is rolling and we're just gonna use our phone flashlight. Let's see how it looks. All right. Would you look at that? Now it's a little bit bright outside so you can still see me in the frame. But what we did here is we made a smiley face just using our phone flashlight. That's pretty crazy. Once it gets darker, you'll be able to do some light painting to where you won't even be in the frame at all because light won't be hitting you. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense. Light painting is super cool, super simple, and if you set your camera to manual mode, drag the shutter all the way down so that it's open for a few seconds, all of the light captured is gonna be what your image produces. I apologize for the terrible, terrible lighting. We literally have this one street light to work with here. Bear with us, this is a nighttime video because we're using the Magilite today. So on the Magilite, there's this little micro SD card port. And what you're gonna do with that is you're gonna put that into your computer 
and at that point you can start downloading images onto that. Now what the Magilite does in post is it will process all of those images and turn them into like a display on the LED. So it's super weird, super interesting, but this little micro SD port is what works the magic really. The light bar can display any kind of simple graphic. A lot of them are like cartoons, a lot of them are, um, I don't know, like basic like fire animations or the American flag or something like that. They're all stored on this little micro SD. Another thing that's gonna be super important for today's video is a flash. Now, you'll see how we're gonna use the flash, but if I can explain it a little bit, we're gonna flash the subject so that the camera receives the light of the subject and they are literally frozen in the frame. We're gonna flash them, have the Magilite behind them kind of panning across the whole image. It should be just awesome. I cannot wait for the shoot. I can't get over this thing. I feel like a literal like Jedi. This is the coolest thing ever. Let's dive right into it. I'm gonna go get Ashley and we're gonna take some shots. Guys, Ashley is here to help us out for this video. I don't know if you remember Ashley from the last video, the $500 quarantine challenge. Um, I might have Jordan help us out with a flash and it should be crazy, so let's dive right into it. Okay, first shot with the Magilite. Let's just do it and see how it looks. Okay, Jordan, I'm gonna have you flash um, from like a 45 degree angle right about here. Timer's ticking. Jordan, I'll give you a cue. Ashley, maybe just have like a surprise face. Jordan, hit it. No, what I need to, oh, we need to get the flash closer. Okay. So basically what happened there was the Magilite was too bright and Ashley didn't get enough light. So she looked like a ghost, which is common in long exposure stuff. So I'm gonna go to file select, enter my folder, and we'll start off with, oh, I don't know. How about a Star Wars Star Destroyer? <laughs> Dude, I'm so hyped. Oh, I don't know. I, this is either a Star Destroyer or the Death Star. That's a Star Destroyer. Is it? Yeah, you could can. literally see it on the light? Okay. So, let's do it. We're dialed in. I'm gonna run over here. And... So, I have to stay painting pretty flat. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Now, I'm gonna paint. I kind of want to get a good shot of like the spinning light look. Um, we're going to do like a close up tighter shot of like a portrait. Long exposure photography is so repetitive. Fresh. So you guys can kind of see why we need to have the flash on the subject now. It, it really freezes like Ashley right in the frame, exactly where she needs to be. Moving up to 75%. Changing the hue to purple. Ooh, that's sick. All right, we're going full Mace Windu. Sweet. That's cool. Beautiful. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know what this file is, but we're gonna do it anyways. Okay, next up, we're gonna paint um, the Street Fighter character Ryu behind her in like a super pixelated cartoon. It's gonna be insane. Should I do the, the Street Fighter stance? Yes. <laughs> 10 out of 10, Street Fighter stance approved. Oh, that's so sick. 
<laughs> Wait, no the way! Perfect! Nice Wait, job. what? That's what I was worried about. The island, but it looks like it's looking right at him. It really does. That's nutty. Ben, do you me? <laughs> ben. Karpinski. Hey. Ben. Hey. Ben. Karpinski. Hey. Dude, the Magilite low-key makes for a nice studio light. I used it in my last video, by the way. It was like over my head and it made like a blue light. Guys, the model has taken over as the creative director. Ashley is now using the Magilite. This literally can be used anywhere. It's oh a my great God. time. If I can do it, you can do it. Okay, that's, that's all I have to say. Oh, that was at the camera. This should be interesting. <laughs> That's fresh. Oh shoot. That's clean. <laughs> what a legend. Oh, it's cool. You wanna try again? Yeah. Gosh. So guys, that's the Magilite. This thing is so fun and literally anyone can use it. Long exposure photography is so cool, so fun to play around with, especially at a time where you have limited resources. We can only stay inside, so we need ways to be creative. This thing is so fun. Bruh. Photo Gear, thank you so much for making this crazy product. It was like a Kickstarter back in the day, and now that it's like a real thing that I can use, I'm so stoked about this. You guys can do long exposure photography with any light. It doesn't have to be some sort of crazy light bar. You can do this with your phone, your flashlight, literally anything. Just go out there, have some fun, stay creative. Subscribe if you're not already. Like, comment down below. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Thanks so much.